welcome back to Miss Molly Makes. It's Molly time. We have two puppies. I don't know what the heck they're doing, but they seem to be. What are you doing? I don't know. All right. So tonight we're going to be making some miso chicken um, and some keto pizza. I don't know. Almond flour pizza. I'm pretty excited. Full of mozzarella, almond meal, or almond flour. We're going to put some prosciutto. Um, and the miso chicken is delicious. Um, I first made this, um, I think last year. No, two years ago. Last year to two years ago. Um, and oh my gosh, so good. So, so good. Beautiful with rice, or you could do it with pasta, I suppose. Um, but yeah, oh my God. So I'm very, very excited to show you all um, and talk about the last few, few days. What's been happening? It is our first day of the Shroom Week. So I'm very, very cold, um, but let's go back to last time on, there we go. So we did smashed egg gravelax, and this is Herman the German bread um, that we made. So it is our sourdough starter that took us 10 days to create and grow, and then we made a cake out of it. So it's like an apple cinnamon cake. This one here we put walnuts in, and very, very sad to say. We did this and then we went into the kitchen, um, into the office and we played uh, Unraveled and I left the other one in the oven. And it, um, it didn't end up so well, so it's a little bit uh, dark, a little bit. It said it's still good, um, but yeah, I was a bit sad about that. But so tasty when like that, I don't know, it's just that sourdough kind of bread style where the outside's really crunchy and then the inside's really nice and delicious, really moist with your apples as well. Um, and then we did our smashed egg gravelax. Um, so some sm salmon there, some eggs. Um, we did like a horseradish kind of wasabi style mayo um, and really, really tasty. So it was a short stream. We played some um, Unraveled, which I'm loving. Um, but yes, what's going on? Bring up that chat, Ixie. Hello. But like, no for reals. I'm so freaking happy that we witnessed the first same-sex kiss at E3. Yes. It's pretty cool, hey? What was that game? What was that game, Exceed? Um, was that the first same-sex kiss? Wow. Um, I love the new characters too. The Splatoon character will be OP. I didn't actually see the Nintendo one yet. Um, that's the one I haven't seen. Um, Exceed, just letting you know Chester is going into his draw. Um, uh, we really want to switch. Yes, I'd love to get a switch and be able to stream on um, with you all, like to play on stream. That is like the absolute goal, is to be able to get a switch one day. Um, already got the capture card. You have one by December. By his birthday? What, what's on? It's in December. What's happening? Oh, does it come out in December? Is that why? Me so hungry. Um, hey, April, how you doing? Kyle. 10 day for a cake? Nope, not worth it. No, so it's like a sourdough starter. So this is another one. Like, so this is what it looks like. And you're supposed to feed it different stuff and then it like stir it. And I thought I'd make another one, but I need to get some more apples. There we go. So just give it a stir, and then tomorrow give it a stir, and then we'll feed it again. It's great to have it in that freezer. Like, it's a really delicious cake. And it seems really, like, loving it at the moment. So it feels like there's something in my oven. Oh, there's something spilled from the bottom of the oven. Oh, my gosh. Um... Smash Bros comes out December 7. Ah, oh, Daz, how you doing? You changed your name. Welcome back. Um, yo, I'm doing something wild. Well, wild for me. Finally getting rid of my emo bangs. Oh, what? Your fringe? Or oh, like, you guys, we call it a fringe. You guys call it bangs. Oh my gosh. Counting down the days until New Zealand. Yes, oh my gosh. April, we're very excited. So... It was two weeks yesterday uh, and we'll be in New Zealand, so we're very excited. We kind of, 
I, I can't say we need a holiday because we just got back from a holiday. Um, is it rainy outside? Oh my god, the weather is like ridiculous outside. My hair looks really dark. I was thinking um, that I might dye it on the weekend, like a darker color, but it looks really dark right now. And I look really pale. Look how pale I look. so cold it is like ferocious outside it's it sounds like it's pouring oh my god you know when you hear water like rain and it just sounds like it's just like a waterfall that's what it sounds like outside it's disgusting hi hello is this gonna be a stream where you're gonna annoy me old stream hey you're just so cute. Yeah, on that. You don't want to cuddle. Whatever. Weather London. For London is 17 degrees. Oh, that sounds. What is the weather here, XC? Oh, look, you're just above 12 degrees. Chester. Where's he gone? You're behind me now. Hello. Hello, Chester. Um. Uh, we had a winter warning in June during summertime. Never live in Montana if you like warm weather. What do you mean? What kind of like weather is it? Like wet weather? Oh. You're so vague. You're such a big boy. Why can't you be back to when you were a little puppy? And we're still here. Whoa. There you go. I just picked you up like a human. Cool. I've got hair on my face. Who is it not supposed to be that big? His dad was at, like a standard poodle is much bigger than him. A standard poodle can be like this big. So. Oh shit, the rain is getting worse. Alright, so let's get into this chicken. Um, oh, and my job interview went really well, Molly. I should know by next week. Yay! That's so exciting that you should pour in for sure. Oh, April, I'm just wishing that you lived in Australia right now. We need a puppy sitter. Um, we... The normal place that the dogs go, the holiday camp that we take them, is so lovely. Um, um, but it's just so expensive, especially when you're traveling as much as we do. I'm going on a first date? You mean like first date ever strip? <gasps> this is exciting. Where are you going? With who? Tell us. So should we do some ASMR? Ready? First ever date. Oh my gosh. Everyone get headphones on. I would love to be able to pet sit for you. Uh, this girl I've known since preschool. Gone to this nice dumpling place. Oh, strip. That's so amazing. So just the, the thing about for me for dates is that it needs to be casual. I am a sucker for doing something that, you know, going for a walk or playing a game or like mini golf, something like that, that your, your attention is on something else so that it, you know, you don't have to be sitting across from each other and, um, but it's great that you know each other. That's really, really cool. Um, and you know, be able to, you know, sit kind of near each other so you're not facing each other exactly. And then you can have conversation and then like people watch. Um, and then it's not as like, you know what I mean? Like not as awkward or not awkward. I don't know awkward, but like, I don't know. I just like really relax. Exceed and I for our first, my, I, I count it as our first date. 
um, we went to like the fair, like a festival kind of thing. It's called the Royal Show. And we uh, walked around all day. We, it was really, really cool. I really love it. Xzed, did you like it? Um, we went on like rides, like roller coasters and stuff. Um, we played those games with like the, the basketball and the shooting. Um, and we watched fireworks. It was really, really cool. It was like my favorite day ever. I just, I love it. I loved it. And then like once we had been together, like our first official date, even though it was like a week after that, was it a week after Exceed? We went on a proper date and that's where we, um, we went out for dinner to a nice South African restaurant and we had like amazing steak and then Exceed eat too much. And then there's me who's, who will be single forever. So any date will do. Carl, I thought you had a partner. Didn't, when you, didn't you have a, 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 a friend? I thought you had a friend. Grumble, hang to win. Um, yeah. But I have had some shocking dates as well. Like, have you guys had bad dates? Bad first dates, weird dates? I went on a online date and I met this guy who was lovely. He was such a lovely guy. And you know, you just can tell from the first moment there's just no spark. He was such a lovely guy. Um, but then like we were just messaging and then he would just message me all the time. And then like I was just replying to be polite. And like I told him that, you know, I'd like to be friends after that date and just messaging me and ringing me. And I like, I had to put in my phone and like block him, but then put a phone, the number in my phone, as in like, please don't like, uh, then don't reply or don't, don't answer kind of thing. Um, and then because you know, when someone has your mobile number, they can get your WhatsApp as well. And so then he was like writing me massive messages on WhatsApp. Um, and it just, it scared online dating for me. Yeah. I'm en route to crashing and just saw y'all on. Hey Grumple, how was your weekend? I can't, it doesn't feel like a Wednesday because we had a public holiday on the Monday. So today's like my Tuesday. Um, and then we think so. Um, you know how I told you we normally get our groceries delivered. I went to order them yesterday and there was no more like slots left for delivery. Um, and then they do this other thing where instead of they dropping it at your house, they drop it at the petrol station, like the, um, the roadhouse petrol station. Yeah. Um, and then you just pick it up from there. So, um, like I just like went in and I was like, this is my name. And then she checked my stuff and like I just signed and then they gave you like big cardboard boxes cause they're trying to reduce like the plastic wastage. So they give you cardboard boxes of your groceries. So she came, she put them in my car for me, and then I, well, I helped. And then I just drove home. Like, it, and it was actually cheaper. Um, no, I haven't. I'm not gonna, I am res resist. What? What, what, what? Oh, I was read the wrong one. Um, Jay-Z, have you pulled the trigger on that new Jurassic Park game? Have you caved? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm not gonna, I'm resisting. Are you, how are you are you liking Ark? Is it still going well? Exceed human material and goals. Husband material. Human material? God. Oh, he is husband material. Um, I also made, almost made Molly cave last night, Jessie. She just about streamed it. No, I didn't. But it was too expensive. I oh, was this one that was like $50? No. Um, it was half that price that I might. Well, yeah, $50 is quite expensive. Coles is removing plastic bags and now you have to pay for bags. They're only... I, what I think is that they're only getting rid of single-use plastic bags. And that's these ones. Like, when you go and pick up your groceries and be like, I want three apples. And then you put your apples in here and then you throw these out. These are single-use bags. Whereas the grey ones, I don't know if they're getting rid of. Um, you know, like these ones, we keep them all. We recycle them and use them as bin bags. 
I'm really liking Ark. Bred my first baby T-Rex last night. Name it Bob. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, which I found, uh, I think it, you know, it's nice. No, the great ones too, replacing them with reusable bags. Oh, 15, yeah, yeah, I saw the 15 cents ones. Um, no, name it Teddy Rex, it's Teddy Rex. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. All right, let's get, let's get into this food. No, I name all the little Velociraptors Bob. That's so cute. So Ark, okay, let me know. So Ark is like, exceed. we were, um, oh, that was Kyle. Oh my gosh. I, for some reason, I read Kyle's message as Jesse because it's the same color. The colors confuse me. Um, I called it Don. She could have called it Alfred. Like my, my character on Unraveled. Alright, so for the first recipe we've got chicken. My eyes are really sore. You know, I, I don't know if it's a girl problem, but um, my, two of my eyelashes here, I don't know if I've like rubbed it and the, the, like the crease between your eyelids, I don't know if I've heard it, but it's so sore. And I thought that like I was getting a sty but I think I've just rubbed the skin and it's so painful. The colors are confusing, yeah. What, strip? Oh my gosh. Look at the pink trifecta. Oh no, strip, what have you done? Oh my God, Farron, what are you doing to me? If you guys all have pink, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my gosh. This is not fair. I tell you guys, I, like, I come to you with a problem that I'm having and then you do this? Thanks, Farrah, for changing it back. Oh, my hands. It's watering. All right, so we've got chicken thighs. Um, Exceed hates these ones, but I like them because they've got skin on them. But he doesn't like them because they um, they have a bone in them. And he calls it uh, a low eatability scale. So these are bone. Well, they only have like a bit of a bone, a small bone, Exceed. It should be fine. Um, so chicken thighs with skin on more so so important that it has skin because that's the bit that when you bake it It goes crispy and crunchy and just so good These aren't Maryland fillets my friend. These are chicken thighs. I Can debone them yet Maryland uh, have the leg on them Number one rule of the internet never tell people your issues because they'll use them to destroy you this is why I, 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 I always think to myself like I watch YouTubers and especially with my vlogs I watch YouTubers and I watch um, you know other people and I think you know they're really real raw and honest with their community and like maybe you know that's what I need to do to to be like to grow the community or like for you guys to be more related like to be more relatable or whatever I need to like but I don't, I don't do that with my real friends. Like, I, I don't like putting my shit on other people. Um, and I'm like, I don't like complaining. Like, I live a pretty great life and like with you guys, of course, you guys make my life better. But you guys have got your own shit going on. You guys don't need my, my shit too. Um, not that I have a lot of shit. Um, they look like Maryland because they have a bone too. Yeah, these are thighs. Thoys, they're thoy cutlets. All right, not enough dancing. So, chicken thighs. So this is gonna go crispy and crunchy when you bake it. Um, miso. So you can use whatever type of miso. This is um, red miso or rouge, um, but whatever you like. Um, oh, I got the wrong recipe up, boys. Dun, dun, dun. So, white miso, red miso. I think this color is best for my name. Yes, I like I like the blue. I like people when they have blue. Never eaten miso. So, okay, Google, what is miso? According to Wikipedia, miso is a traditional Japanese seasoning produced by fermenting soybeans with salt and koji and sometimes rice, barley, or other ingredients. Yep. 
So it's very salty. It has a, an amazing flavor. Um, and it's got a lot of uma umami. Um, so like a big mouth flavor. It's really, really good. So fermented soybeans. But it doesn't, I don't know, like it doesn't have that weird taste. Maybe it's because like you're used to it. Um, I heard beans. Ugh. No, it's good. It's good, I promise. Um, there's a lot of shit talk and I didn't... There's a lot of shit talk and I didn't think it was going to be that kind of stream. What do you mean, Kyle? I hate every bean except green beans. Oh my gosh. So, we want that. We want butter. So it's miso butter chicken. Butter. And it's a good quality butter too. Um, I have maple syrup. I'm going to put some honey in it. Some ginger. What's up, Kyle? What are you talking about? Who's shit talking? Um, 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 garlic. Can you guys believe I actually didn't buy garlic this this cooking, um, this round of this week? Because usually I buy like five cloves each week. But I didn't buy any because I've got three cloves. I'll probably live to regret it because I always do. Um, some rice vinegar, um, some sesame seeds, and some scallions or shallots or spring onions, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do, I'm just looking at something. You can have never have too much on. I, I agree with that. Um, yeah, Xeb, we say gameplay for it and still the entire world is going. What the fuck is this game about? We saw gameplay, yeah. The uh, Death Stranding. Like, Xeb showed me the, the first um, introduction last E3 of Death Stranding and then this one and I was still going, what? What is the baby? What is the things on the ground? Like, it was just crazy. I, like, yeah. You know when people start complaining about your breath? Oh, garlic. You just don't go near people. That's the thing. You just, you don't have friends. You don't go near the people. I don't know what's spilled in this oven. So, in here, so, da -da -da -da. holding my eyes, Kyle, ugh, I was going to call you Xe. Kyle, coffee, go get coffee. Neff, how you doing? Um, so the thing is, is that once you use this, you have to put it in another container because it's like a, a sachet. Okay, Google, what's the difference between red and white miso? Here's a summary from the website decogen.com. White miso, this miso is made from soybeans that have been fermented with a large percentage of rice. Red miso, this is also typically made from soybeans fermented with barley or other grains, though with a higher percentage of soybeans and or a longer fermentation period. So it's a little bit more fermented. Mmm, it does taste a bit different. Okay. Hope this tastes better than it looks. What do you mean? This is what the dish looks like when it's finished. 
I'm good uh, doing the last bit on the beta to reach level 120. What? Danielle! Thank you for those bits. We are making some miso butter chicken right now. Uh, and then we're gonna go into a keto pizza um, with some prosciutto, some like amazing um, almond meal base. It does have a more fermented taste if I think about it. Yeah. How are you doing, operative? Welcome. So we're talking about miso right now, different colors of miso. And we're also talking, most importantly, about E3. What games you're liking, um, what's on anyone's wish list, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm just trying to find whatever I want. Just hoping that something will just jump out at me. Okay, so, plate press this. I'm just going to get this knife and just take a chunk of ginger. Uh, if you like fermented things, you should try and brew kombucha. Oh, I've done that quite a few times. See, it doesn't like the smell in the house. Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima, is that how you say it? Tsushima, yeah. The game was looked very beautiful. I don't think it's my style of game though. Um, is anyone keen to play Kingdom um, Kingdom Hearts? Um, I was thinking that we could get E3, not E3, far out. God, you can tell I'm such a noob. We can get E3 guys, just get the game E3. Um, no, I was thinking that we could get um, Fallout 76 and like get Exceed was like talking about have our own little server and um, we could all play with each other or against each other. It looks such an amazing game. Like we were watching behind the scenes in like the about the game development and it just looks so cool. The thought that's gone into it. Oh my gosh. I was really into them for a long time but I'm sorta over Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. I personally have never played it, but um, I've seen this game because I'm like you. For those that are new to the stream, I'm new to gaming, so I I have never played. I've seen Kingdom Hearts, um, but I have never played it, so I'm a bit excited. And I. I I'm working to find a genre that is mine, like one that I like. Fuck me, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I love the smell of garlic. It smells like fresh lemon. I like the smell of garlic too, but I don't think that it smells like lemon. It goes well with lemon. All right, so we've got ginger and we're gonna get some garlic. And you want to put unpeeled garlic in there and about like six or eight cloves. Because we're trying to con like, we'll put six. Pretty great franchise in its own right. I've never, I never knock it, but I feel sort of outgrew it. Oh yeah, that's fair enough. So I, I find personally, and this may be something that you guys don't understand, how, what I mean like I I have a personal objection to the Tomb Raider games not that I don't think the new one is amazing and that like I want to play it I just think Tomb Raider games are just overdone like I feel like there's one on every platform and they just recreate the same story every year. Um, it's same as Spider-Man. There's always a new Spider-Man movie. And just with different characters. Like different like people, you know, different actors. And I'm just a bit over both Spider-Man and... And it might be something that you guys don't agree with. And that's okay. My wife is obsessed with Tomb Raider. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll shut up now. All right, you want to smash these. I just have a mallet, and I'm literally just smashing them just to release the flavor a little bit. Just bang it. 
I'm gonna send me two minutes. Thank you. All right, four tablespoons of butter, unsalted, but I've got salted. You need to get into Dragon Ball. You would love it. The, the, the games or... Is that Ezekiel Squirrel? I'm here for once. What are we making today? How you doing? Welcome back. Uh, we're making miso chicken. Miso chicken. Um, and we're also doing keto pizza. Never played Tomb Raider game, so I can't have an opinion. You, but you've, you've seen them, right? They're everywhere. She mentioned that she always will support Tomb Raider because um, since when she was a small girl, it was one of the few games she could be a female in. That's sweet. I like that. Um, yeah, I would love to see Molly play the latest Dragon Ball game. But it's expensive. That's the issue. Like, I want to play all these games, but they're so expensive. And Xed tells me he's like, you know, you can either pay fifty dollars for, you know, sixty hours of content, or sixty to hundred hours of content, or you could buy, you know, a a sixty sixty dollar shirt that you might wear once or something like that like you know there's so many more hours and use you can get out of a game but at the end of the day money is money <laughs> and it's just hard um just don't buy sea of thieves which is a hundred dollars is it is it sea of thieves a hundred dollars i i don't want to play sea of thieves because i want to play the new pirate movie what is that movie you see jump forth skull and bones yeah that's it Jump Force. What? It, I think that's the terrible, terriblest, the worst name ever. Jump Force! Yeah! Jump Force! Jump Force! Jump Force! It's just a shitty name! Have you tried any online games like MMOs? Um. Um, yeah, I have. But. I played a bit of WoW. My computer was sweating just watching that skull and bones demo. <laughs> Didn't look so good. Chester, shh. That one's Romy. That one's Romy. Um, I'm just waiting for the new Sims game. <laughs> oh, and then WoW expansion, then hopefully 2 point hospital. I'm excited for 2 point hospital. But, like, you guys aren't keen on Fallout 76? Oh, yeah, you stream WoW. I have. Just a little bit. 99.95, where did the uh, five cents go? Oh, okay. Uh, back when Tomb Raider launched, it was pretty strong female role. Nowadays, there's a lot more, but I get her point. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, Ipsy, what was the game that you were talking about and you can choose to play male or female? What game was that? We think Molly should go do a Fallout 4 playthrough. Yeah, I'm keen. Did he just clip me just now? Shit. Neff, you can't do that to me. So I think we need to start having a competition about clips again. Like, I'm not going to say we're ever going to get that clip again. But I feel like we should, you know... Have a friendly competition with clips. Because has anyone not seen that clip? Deceptive smile. I, I love that deceptive smile. Uh, Fallout is getting more and more away from what made it amazing. The story. Now 76 even more so um, seems to be focusing on the fact it's a co-op shooter. Trailer gave nothing towards story. So that's up in the air. I agree with that. I feel as though um, uh, it wasn't. People weren't really un, like people weren't really sure what was actually happening, um, and definitely it wasn't like explained enough. And I don't know if they're they're just wanting 
it to be a surprise and then when it comes out. I think they were being a bit, not a, elusive, evasive, but yeah, I think more will be, more will be explained. And I like, that's why I've never played a Fallout game and I've seen them and like I'm interested in playing Fallout 4 before I play 76. Again. Alright, so what we're going to do here is, I know it looks like a mess, but we're going to get our hands dirty. I've taken my rings off. I'm going to get massaging. So one, two, three, four, maybe five. Oh, maybe just four. Alright. 24,000 have seen it. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'd want to be in that clip competition. It didn't really end well last time. <laughs> we should all take a moment and remember the tragedy that was the original ending of Mass Effect 3. It ha what do you mean original ending? Explain to the noob, okay? So, miso, we're just... And the butter. I should have melted the butter, but really couldn't be bothered so we're just gonna massage the miso in here and the garlic and the ginger my biggest worry if um, you must be online in all perpetually online worlds there is a subset of people whose sole purpose is to wreck other people's experiences stuff they built not digging that opportunity for that for that goes arc without Option for private servers. Ah, I get ya. Yeah, there's people out there that just their sole purpose is to to be trolls. Um, the ending was so bad they changed the ending due to massive outroar. No way! Oh my gosh, I did not know that at all. Deceptive smile. You had me at me so. So this is a really, really delicious recipe. In here I've got garlic, ginger, miso, and butter. Um, I, I forgot to put um, the the rice vinegar in there and the, the maple syrup, but now my hands are so dirty that I can't be bothered. But I'll do it in a minute. So what you're doing is just making sure that you've massaged it into the base here. And we're gonna flip these over and get them nice and brown. But, You've got garlic, you've got butter in here. I feel like I should take some of this butter on. It's a lot of butter. And we'll leave that for the sauce. Imagine working in a kitchen with four fries and two grills and a broken fan. <gasps> oh my gosh! Well, at least I would have warmed you up on this winter's day. Be glad that it's not like summer. It's true. Imagine you in summer. Oh my gosh, you die. Alright, so just wipe that off onto your. Bethesda one. You reckon? Apple. So. Out of all the games, which do you think? So, Apple reckons Bethesda, Square Enix won. So you just said Bethesda or Square Enix? Oh, you're arguing with me, okay. You can see Square Enix is the one with that, um, with Death Stranding. Does anyone make sense about Death Stranding yet? Does anyone know what the heck is going on? I think we should stop and have a conversation about this lol joke sarcasm. Except, which was the one that we just said was weird? Um, that D, D one. That one with the woman that came out. She was strange. All right, miso chicken in there. And then you wanna cook that for about 20 minutes and then we'll whack it on, it's on 200, degrees 400 Fahrenheit um, and then what we'll do we'll cook it um, and then for about 200 degrees um, for about 20 minutes and then we'll 
make sure the we'll turn um cover it and then turn down the temp. Okay, so first time fluking into an IRL stream, gamer, cook, nurse, set the bar for- oh. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? Deceptive smile. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I am, I am a nurse, so I am an operating room nurse. Um, and, um, but my passion is cooking, so that's why I'm here with you guys. Um, my death stranding is so much what the hell is going on I think it's like the fetus wards against the invisible death things they quick age everything around them maybe that, that's what we were thinking as well yeah Molly doesn't compute with Devolver Digital um, yet yeah, Devolver Digital I just is strange so strange Tell us about your day. All right, I will. Um, but um, it's a full baby. Yeah, I'm like I was thinking that like they're protecting the baby. That do they do they seem to be protecting the baby? I was thinking that the the baby is like some type of special something, and so they're they're protecting it and they're trying to get it off the off the um, the planet but these uh, but that has the ability to see the the death thing the death guys I don't know it's just really creepy um, was the fetus their game logo oh I didn't look into that well he does deliveries and like half his packages look like bodies yeah is that you reckon he does deliveries I was really interested, I like, was really confused because I was telling you, see, like, they were doing clips of the, like, the gameplay and it wasn't, like, it kept changing and I was like, he has this one day and then the next day he, he's got a body and then the body's gone and then he's got, like, one bag and then, like, it was just real confusing of, like, was he the only person on the planet or was it, like, non, um, you know, what's the word, you know, like, were they going day one, day six, day 20? Like, were they just skipping between days and just cutting random footage? Or was it, you know, was there time between those days or something? I don't know. I got the impression babies had great value in the world. A rarity that has to be preserved and he uh, delivered them through the danger to those that want to buy, keep, use them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. Maybe they are super rare. New life is precious. Maybe. Um, wait, isn't that the male that has capabilities to bear baby in that game? I don't think they... Yeah, I was confused how it was like inside him. You know, like they went into his mouth and then the baby was like in there. That, that confused me. And then all of a sudden he had the backpack thing that he like strapped to himself. And so, I don't know. I think it's just, we're just going to be like scratching our heads for a while. Does anyone know when it comes out? Hey, hey, g'day. Hey, Chaos, how you doing? It's been a long time. How have you been? Did you see the very first trailer? It was long before E3. So that was last year. Um, had like undead Nazi zombie skeletons and some large professor looking person clutching the baby in that jar. Yeah, that was the, that was the one Exceed showed me because he was like, he said, for you to understand this, you need to be able to go back to last year. And everyone was like, what? Um, so he showed me and I think I need to re-watch it to fully understand because I was just like, is this guy on a trip? Uh, like, I don't know, it just didn't make sense. What kind of conversation did I come back to? We're talking about babies and we're talking about Death Stranding right now. And some creepy red-eyed soldier dude that had all those black tendrils coming out of him. Yeah, I, like, I don't think it, if you're faint-hearted I think it won't be a game. I don't know if it will be even a game for me but I just want to know what happens and what the storyline behind it is. There are so many games where I was like get, like watching the uh, like the convention I was like this is such a cool game and then zombies jumped out and I'm like cross not watching not playing that game. 
Um, and then they were like all happy and bright colors and then it just like goes into the, you know, the dungeon or whatever. And I'll cross that game off. I don't know, I just, I'm not a person, huge person. I don't know if it's, is it weird if I, I like, I'm not a person that likes creatures and monsters and zombies and things like that. I don't know. I don't know Deceptive Smile. I don't know what games I'm into. I like Subnautica. Um, I'm really liking Child's Games. I feel like um, Unravel 2 is pretty dope. Um, I like some military style like um, FPS. So I'm really enjoying... Um, like I love COD because I like just the, the military style with weapons and... Um, uh, Black Ops, not Black Ops, um, what was I thinking? Um, just that kind of military style. Um, PUBG, I do like Fortnite. PUBG is a little bit too fast paced for me. Um, I don't really have the skills to do like multiplayer. Um, uh, I just got Near Automata. Ooh, is that not like a car game? Um, yeah, so it's a, like it's a constant struggle because I find a game and then it, like I like Wolfenstein. And then, like, the game has to be heavy on story. Um, and, but, the game that I am crushing on at the moment, but we aren't able to stream it, and it, but it's, we keep saying that we're going to find a way, um, is uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's so much fun, because I get to play it with Exceed, and, you know, you're, you're going from objective to objective. And I was always, like, really wary of, um, you know, open world games because they didn't have enough story whereas this actually the the gameplay is really fun so i'm thinking that i'll like far cry the new far cry 5 far cry 5 or far cry 4 4 far cry 4 um wow now i'm dating myself wolfenstein i grew up on that before 3d was the thing um Yes, uh, I do like, and I think uh, the new Wolfenstein will be really good with the triplets. Triplets? D twins. <laughs> uh, play Skyrim Molly, one of the best sandbox games ever. So, can if someone explain to me what sandbox means? Does sandbox mean you're able to change things and like you, you've got a lot of choice? Because that overwhelms me. I like, I, I would. Like, I feel like Skyrim will be good, and I was talking to my brother, and he said Skyrim would be good, but go around and explore and do stuff. Uh, so it's like two, like, it's like open world. So it's hmm, theme park. Game gives you a set road to follow. Ah, uh, okay. So I feel like I'm in the middle of theme park and sandbox. Like, I like the both. It smells so good! Oh my gosh, I forget how good this miso chicken is. Oh. Should we make rice or should we serve it with something else? What do you think? What do you think we should serve it with? We're not doing a lot of cooking, but I like, I think we should do some more IRL like this and just chat. What do you guys think? Um, if you like storage room with knives, knives? The best game graphics I've ever seen for people rendering. Detroit Becoming Human is my current crush. Ooh. I have heard some good things about that game. Um, I I loved. I don't know what I don't know what about Subnautica that I enjoyed. I think it was the story and the ability to explore. But I found that when I like the ability to explore and grab things and build, like build my base and whatever, but then just when there was that lull and you felt like you were dipping into boredom, then it would like, then you would trigger something on the map and something would come up and be like, you need to go here now and you need to get do this. Um, so I think that was really good and I, I, I think that I need that. I need that stimulus and not feeling as though I'm going bang like here and then here and here and guided all the time. I like some open world, but not so open that I just have too many options. I remember watching Exceed play Assassin's Creed and I was like, oh my God, where do you go? Where do you choose? Like, what, what do you do kind of thing? Um, where I think I need a little bit of, you can come here now. This is the main storyline. You've got 
um, you know, sub storylines or, you know, what are they called? Um, mini challenge, not mini challenges. What are they called? What do you call them? What do you gamers call them? The things were like the small stuff on the side. Side missions. Um, yeah, side missions, but then you, like, you've got the story. So you can just follow the story, or you can do side missions. If Assassin's Creed is overwhelming, Skyrim might be too much. Well, I haven't played Sky I haven't played Assassin's Creed, that being said. So, I should choose it. I should, I should try. I can't say it if I haven't done it. 100 hours of side quests and 100 hours of pointless exploration. Wow. Maybe, maybe that one can, maybe Skyrim can just, just go to the side for a bit. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely saying I'm enjoying. Get an Oculus VR and stream a beat. Oh, oh, that's what I want. I want to do VR. I think VR would be really cool. I think you guys would laugh at me because I'd probably trip over all the time. Sad experiment. How are you doing? Hello, everybody. How is the stream? We are making some miso chicken. Uh, it's in the oven. We should get onto some more food. Um, um, because we're making some keto pizza as well. Can you imagine cooking hour followed by cardio beat saber? Yeah. Damn. I wouldn't be able to have to, like, maybe what we should do is do saber, like the, the beat, the, you know, the BR beat saber. And then eat, like then cook and eat, because I'll be like, and then I'll be hungry. Whereas if I like eat and like cook and then play that, I'll just about, oh, then I'll feel like hell bloated. Or beat saber first. Work up the avatar. See, you and I are on the same page. Love the scarf. Thank you very much. Like it, it's very fluffy and it's so comfy. It's so nice pop of like. Not colour, but yeah, kind of colour. How you doing today? Xanadar. Um, so, let's get into some pizza. Some pizza. So, miso chicken. Are we going to make rice? Did we, did we decide on rice? No one answered me. Rice without miso chicken. What you think? Doing wonderful, thank you. Oh, that's so good to hear. So good to hear. Fried rice! Neff. Kind of fried rice and miso chicken. Because it's butter, it's got butter in it, so you just gotta. We'll just do normal rice. What about we can do like some turmeric rice? Some yellow rice, maybe. Fried rice goes with everything. Guys! They're not like, I have to do. I can't just do like simple fried rice, I gotta do it like properly. Then you have to get like quinoa. I haven't made quinoa in so long. Just finished up watching Anna, so about to turn in. Just wanted to come and say hi and hello and toss your follow. <gasps> Thank you very much. Thank you for that follow, Anna Da. How was Anna's stream? So lovely that she drops us off a host. Um, we're about to see in the world at you, Anna Da. If it's if you're about to go to sleep, it must be early morning. Wednesday for you. Okay. Do, do, do. Always so relaxing and lovely. Yeah, it is such a lovely stream. Deceptive smart, thank you for that follow. Um, okay. So I want to show you something and talk about something. Um, has anyone used psyllium husk? So this psyllium husk by itself was really expensive. Um, so for a dollar less, I got this stuff called Gentle Fiber. And it's got psyllium husk, linseed, and oat bran. And they said, uh, you can sprinkle over your cereal yogurt, uh, add it to smoothies. Um, and they said that, like, I was reading a thing that you can put psyllium husk, like a spoonful, in cake dishes and whatever for some added fiber. Because I feel like I need to like increase my um, use it with almond meal as breadcrumbs. Oh, thank you. 
Oxley Shark. Thank you very much. Um, but does it does it thicken? Like, is it a thickening agent? Uh, like, I know it adds fiber, which I like. I just feel like I just need to get more in my diet. You know, eat better all the time. But I don't know how to use psyllium husk, and I I don't. I don't want to like. I was told that you can like put it in water, and this like oh, it just makes me feel sick thinking about it. I like I remember there was this stuff called I think it Metamucil, and it's like oh god, it's making me feel really sick. Um, when I think about it, if you just add it to water and you stir it, and it like it's supposed to um, it's supposed to be like soluble fiber, but every time you drink it, you can feel it in the back of your throat, and it's like just just drinking like sludge and like I, I don't know how to add it add fiber into my diet but bake it into things Anna drew a roux from Princess Bar Bride and now knows that she needs to watch that movie I haven't watched Princess Bride in years I think I need to watch it now you're in the northwest past, um, part of the USA so let me see northwest North, West, so we're my, let me, my geography. So we've got Northwest, we've got Seattle, we've got um, Northwest is Seattle, o is Oklahoma Northwest? Is it Oklahoma Northwest? Um, and then you've got, it's just like the tip of my tongue. What's the other big city under Seattle? Okay, Google, what cities are in the Northwest USA? I'm not sure, but I can tell you the answer to a similar question. Where is the Northwest? Would that help? Sure. According to wikipedia.org, the Northwestern United States is an informal geographic region of the United States. The region consistently includes the states of Oregon, Washington and Idaho, and usually Montana and Wyoming. Wyoming. Metamucil and witch hazel, two staples in my grandmother's medicine cabinet. I saw witch hazel um, the other day when I was at the pharmacist. Pharmacist? Pharmacy? And um, witch hazel is good for it, like removing makeup? Is that what, like it's good for your skin? Is that true? I don't ever put it in my, um, put into almond meal or cake mix. Okay. Thank you, Oxlisha. I appreciate that. But yes, I was thinking of Portland, Oregon. Oklahoma's in the middle. Oh, okay. I thought I was just being fancy. I thought I was. Um, okay, so we're gonna be making almond meal. So if you don't have almond meal, you can just buy some almonds and put them in. Oh my gosh, chicken looks so good. Uh, put them in your food processor or something like this. Which hazel is an astringent, can be used for many things. Okay. Okay, Google. What is witch hazel? Witch hazel. Here's the definition of witch hazel. A shrub with fragrant yellow flowers, which is widely grown as an ornamental. American species flower is often an Asian species in winter. Cool. Off topic, I know, but really looking forward to my raid tonight. Should kill a new boss this week. This is with the new. This is with the new. The new group. She's been wow. So that's three quarters of a cup, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. So almonds. Um. So what I'm gonna do is mix this. Chop it up and do a quick my small mix. The Allied Raid. I have family down in Victoria, a city of Ballarat. Oh no way! Uh, I have friends that live in Ballarat. That's so cool. It's such a beautiful place. Have a sweet day to you all. Thank you, Zanadar. It's so lovely to see you. Thank you for that follow, and hopefully we can see you more often. Have a lovely sleep. Uh, and then once this boss is dead, we only have one left in our Wii. And this time it's ticking before the pre-patch 
for the new EXP. New expansion. I got that one. Yes. One point for Molly. All right, we're gonna meet the mic and we're gonna do a quick Miss Molly mix. Okay, so, we got sound? It does. Um, the thing that now I'm nervous about is melting two cups of mozzarella for this recipe. I'm gonna just get some water. I'm a bit thirsty. Play Alliance Deceptive Smile. Would never play Dirty Horde as a main. <laughs> so, to my defense, I wanted to play Alliance but exceed as Horde. So, now I'm Horde. I'll hang my head in shame. Dirty Horde, Jesse called me. Oh my gosh. The horde burn my tree. I'm horde now too. Yes. Um, what do you mean by burn your tree? So mozzarella. For the horde. Ultra balance. Molly's outfit though. What do you mean? It's just black. I always wear black and Ugg boots. So from here it looks like I'm wearing all black, but my pet my. These are, these are brown. So I, I, I can't tell you this because I'm going to tell you my Miss Molly minute. But I made a bet, like a, not a bet with myself, but I made, I, I wanted to do this in my minute. Um, but I, I made a thing with myself that every time I go down to this, so in my hospital, it's a seven floor, um, like high rise building, seven, eight floors, but we're on the seventh floor. So every time I need something, I need to go down to the main office, which is on level, like the bottom level. So what happens is I, to go, instead of going in the lift up, I make sure that I take this 14 flights of stairs. Um, so that's my daily thing that I have to do at least two to three times. So today I've been doing it been building my booty and eating healthier, kind of, eating a little bit healthier. Um, so yeah. Is it customary to wear shoes, boots in the house in Australia? Uh, just have to smile, it's really cold. And um, the these tiles here, the only tiles from this, just in the kitchen, through to the laundry, and in the bathroom, and the stone is really cold on your feet. Um, and also, I usually have a mat here, like a cushiony rubber mat, um, but it's outside and it's wet, so I can't bother hosing it off and cleaning it yet. Um, I'll do it on Friday. So I need my feet get sore. But thank you for that lovely comment, Ultraviolence. For liking my outfit. Appreciate it. So, mozzarella. Mozzarella! And it's, it is normal mozzarella. So what it wants me to do, um, I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna put some cheddar in there because I don't have enough. Do -do -do. Who's a fan of pizza? Is anyone keto in the house? Does anyone do keto? Has done keto? Do, do. Ugh, I prefer camembert. Okay. Will 
leave a little bit for the top of the water. Okay, so I don't know if this grosses me out, but you need to melt this and this will be the base of your... Has anyone done keto? It is like a drug, I think. I went to grocery shopping and said, nope, too much stuff I can't have. Oh, I was a dedicated keto follower for a whopping 31 hours. So you just thought it too expensive? That's the issue, I think. When you're, you're doing another, like a new diet, you have to go out and buy all the stuff. So Ixid and I did the alkaline diet, like maybe two, three years ago. Ixid and I went alkaline. And it was a lot of fun. Like it was really good. We went to the, uh, the farmer's market each week. We bought a lot of green vegetables and um, you know, it was really, ugh, it made you feel good. Like, um, but the problem was it was so expensive and time consuming meal prepping. Like I love cooking, but it was just a lot of effort and going to the, the farmer's market's fun, but when you need to buy like bag boxes of food, it, it works like, out like, really expensive. Are you gonna do the make with Molly on Sunday? Yes! For those that bought it up, who is joining me this Saturday to do make with Molly? It's our online cooking class, so you guys can uh, download the recipes, go and order the, get the food, um, download the recipes, get your ingredients, and then we'll all cook together in two days. Two days! Oh my god, two days and 23 hours. So we're making pork or yoza. We're doing some gnocchi and also some churros. Who is gonna do it? We've got Jesse signed up. Who else? Who wants to do it with me? Look at this cheese, oh my gosh. It's our monthly cook along. So if you want to join, um, actually just put the link in our Discord. So this is the mozzarella cheese, everybody. Look at that. It's Father's Day weekend. I'll be at my restaurant all weekend. Does it do smile? You have a restaurant? Oh my gosh. I went to the Asian store and I bought the little pancakes. Little pancakes? Oh, they're like the wrappers. I bought two kinds that you get. You said to get wonton ones, but they all have the Goyoz ones. So, um, if you want, Jez, I can send you a recipe to make. So I bought some wrappers too, and I'll show you the ones that I bought. Um, but I was thinking I might make some ones from scratch as well. Because these are the ones that they had available. These are wonton wrappers. But they're like not ideal for the, the noodles that uh, the wrap the goyos that we're making. So I thought we'll just make them from scratch. It takes like five minutes. Oh my god, this is so cute, you're asleep. Oh I need to get cream cheese. Such a chill stream, I love it. Perfect for 3M, pretty much getting the munchies anyway. Noob, Exceed, oh, Exceed is, no, no, no. So, um, my, I'm Molly. Um, Molly is my childhood nickname from, um, from childhood for my grandmother. Uh, and then we also have Exceed, who's the man behind the scenes. Um, so he is my partner in crime, my partner in life. Um, and, he controls the green screens, behind the scenes, all that kind of cool jazz. Um, and, and 
I am the cook in the kitchen. Um, you'll see him on Fridays, so evenings with Exceed, we play video games together. Um, sometimes not like we've been doing it. The Invisible Magician, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so what we're going to do is, I might need to melt this a little bit more. But you want to put this in there. a bit more. Are we PC, PC restoring? There's so many dinosaurs to fix. Oh, J mood. All right, Jesse, you and me. You and me and our special guest. in a whole egg. I'm going to add an egg to that. And Finn, yes. We can't forget Finn. I know, so this is not gentle fibre, this is almond meal, the ground almonds. And cheese. chicken lovely true how you doing welcome how you doing today Baltic Apache how you doing today a very cool name welcome so we're doing this is our miso chicken so it's a, my oven's playing up today I don't know what's going on it's a bit oh it's a bit hot so this is our miso chicken that I'm just going to baste with some more of this beautiful sauce. So miso butter sauce here. Garlic, ginger, beautiful and warming. I think we might do that. We were talking about rice or quinoa. I think quinoa sounds good. Correctly, and that looks delicious too. Thank you very much. What do people usually say? They pronounce apachura. So, if you're coming in, let me know if you're an E3 fan and what games you're excited about. That's the question of the day. that. I'm going to put it back in the oven and turn the temperature right, right down. Oh, 
Oh my god. So good. No, I might actually take it out and cover it because then I can put the pizza in here. Kind of looks like peri peri chicken, it does kind of really. No. <coughs> um, made me hype, but probably won't be out until a few years down the line. Elder Scrolls. So, was that. The Elder Scrolls on Alexa, was that real? Or was that like just a joke? It got me confused. Okay, leave that there for a few minutes. Alright, so in here we've got, I might need to warm this up again. Um, and we're gonna add egg. One egg. So we're making a keto pizza base. I'm a little bit nervous. So what we want to do is put some herbs in there. So I'm going to put some thyme, some oregano. Elder Scrolls will come out 2021. Oh my gosh. Wow. 2021 just seems like, you know, 20 years ago, 20 years away, doesn't it? It doesn't feel like it's 2018 and that's... But still, that's three years. It's such a long time. Four years. There we go. <gasps> Drop my egg yolk. Oh, not egg shell. Why is it... Why are they teasing it now? Why is it going to take so long? Did the last Elder Scrolls take that long? All right. So in here we've got mozzarella, um, almond meal, egg, um, cream cheese I didn't have, uh, an Italian seasoning mix, and salt and pepper. What is in the bowl? Yeah, so almond flour. We're making a keto pizza base. Trying something different. Exceed um, the man behind the scenes who is in chat. You'll see him. Yep. Um, he loves pizza, but just trying to be a bit healthier, you know. And don't apologise for being coming new, being new and just arriving. It's lovely to have you here. So, I love uh, you guys asking questions. So I'm gonna try and need this kind of thing. Ooh. Baltic Apache, thank you for that follow. Oh gosh, this is gross. The eggs are slimy. Maybe I should have added the the egg to the, the flour before I added the... I'm just taking some of these chunks of almond out. Um, added the egg to the, the almond flour before I added the melted cheese so it wasn't as slimy. Okay. It really looks gross out. <laughs> okay, good. That's your pizza base. There are some chunks in here. That's why it's preferable to use almond flour rather than ground your own almonds. Or if you're gonna do it, do it correctly, unlike me. It may just add a texture, you know? So, what do you guys like on your pizza? I'm thinking some cheese, some prosciutto, some, we'll make some pasta sauce, cheese, uh, pizza sauce. Get the small child, hopefully. Um, probably see you in a bit, if not tomorrow. Yep, we'll be around. 
Say hello to Finn for me, we'll be around. Fit in some more shaju, hells yeah. Hell yeah. Smith and Weston, how you doing? What's happening with your feet, my friend? Hopefully you still have them. Fettuccine on pizza? Fettuccine on pizza? Never heard of it. It is a hard word. A very hard word. I wouldn't even know how to spell it without. Alright. So, just cut it in half. Hopefully, it'll make two pizzas. And then just use your little. Your little wiggy. If you didn't want to use almond flour, you can just use eggs and cheese, like more eggs and cheese than mozzarella. Maybe Alfredo sauce, but the actual noodle? Yeah, that's very interesting. I've heard of, um, you know, different toppings. People put interesting things on pizza. I heard like someone put mac and cheese on pizza. Any advice for a broke college student cooking? Um, for me, for saving money is, I know it's an added expense buying things in bulk. It's like upfront cost um, of buying things, um, you know, in bulk is, is expensive, but it will save you money in the long run. Um, and, Strip for Donuts said ramen noodles. Ramen noodles we did a few weeks ago and I showed you how to do them in a few different ways. Um, so doing the noodles as well as uh, like a noodle soup and adding the veggies that you can afford into them to add them and like make it healthier. Um, and for me to save money is like going to farmers markets, um, buying some of the food, the fruit that looks a bit funny like it will still taste good but it just because it doesn't look pretty people don't buy it that's a, a really great trick hey Chester um shroom bomb by the pup I'm trying not to give him attention because um or touch him because he is starting to become quite demanding on stream and it's annoying me Uh, large quantities of curries, anything with lentils, etc. That's super filling. Yeah. Um, what else? So the most expensive thing you're always going to find is protein, like chicken, meat, things like that. If you're vegetarian, it's going to be cheaper. Um, but buying cheaper cuts of meat. The best thing that you can do if you're into cooking is buy a slow cooker. Buy cheaper cuts of meat um, and then put it in the pressure uh, the pressure cooker or your slow cooker and cook it for a good six hours and then it's going to be a lot more flavorsome um, and it's going to be cheaper and you can buy things in bulk so going to your butcher and buying like a big um, you know blade steak skirt steak um, skirt steak isn't probably for um, pressure cooking um, slow cooking but um, cheaper cuts of meat are really really great even beans are cheap so you oh, you, you don't want to run the risk. It's it's all different for everybody, but going down the cheap path can often be the unhealthy path. It's very, very easy to eat unhealthy um, on the cheap. It's, you know, it's not... You have to look after yourself as well, which is most important. Be able to, if you're a uni student or you're at college, you want to be able to, like, feed your brain and not live off shit. Um, you know, just living off ramen is going to be easy or tin beans. It's going to be cheap and easy, but it's full of sugar. Um, you know, it's really, uh, you know, lacking in nutrients. So if you can buy those ingredients, um, like your ramen noodles, and use that as a base, 
and then adding your vegetables where you can and adding you know some meat um, and being able to actually you know have some nutrients in there um, rather than focusing on just price you want to look after yourself um, and not walk away you know from being a college student having these bad habits um, and unfortunately the way it is it really sucks that it's really easy to get food that's laden with sugar and fat and things like that um, look at McDonald's it's cheaper to buy like a Big Mac than it is to buy the vegetables to make you know the the meat and the the things to make a burger um, which is really really important curry was invented to sell expired meat and make your way more palatable um, plus when it should have been consumed but if you like curry as a flavor profile cheap proteins rice fillers like lentils uh, veggies can make portions in slow cooker yeah perfect and the spices you can buy them in bulk and then you can just um, add different spices um, slow cook things and curries slow cook stews are the bomb because you can just add rice right this is super super cheap that's why um, corn rice all cooked um, all cultivated in um, third world countries because it's easy to grow and it's really cheap so dollar menu at McDonald's is pretty nice although unhealthy but filling you need to buy yes you need to buy it yourself a, um, a slow cooker you can pick it up for a relatively pretty cheap um, I have I'm very lucky I have a pressure cooker and a um, slow cooker in one but you can pick up your depending where you live Baltic where do you live you said college so that means you must be in the US yeah so uh, depending the the brand or you know how fancy but they all do the same thing they run off the same electricity of like a light bulb so they're relatively safe um, and inexpensive to run you just put it on at night time and then I usually will put it on before I go to work and then come home your house smells amazing um, and you, you don't have to stress about food from the US going to uni in the UK yeah so you should be able to um, pick up some beautiful stuff there like a, a slow cooker there um, also farmers markets are really dope um, getting really good um, ingredients uh, cheaper always look out for good specials and sales and uh, you might have to travel a little bit further um, but look for what's in season as well don't get imported products um, get well, local if possible but whatever's cheaper um, for ingredients wise the way that I save money is rather than buying self-raising flour and plain flour I just buy plain flour and then I add baking powder when necessary um, I only buy one type of oil rather than multiple you know extra virgin olive oil olive oil for this you know cooking oh, I, I buy canola oil but there is a, a you can cut down your costing by reducing the amount of stuff like rather than buying buttermilk just buy milk and then put lemon juice in it um, and there are some tactics that you can save money I stopped going to school at 11 so I really never went to college or uni so I can't say I understand how it is but I did have to work for my money when I was younger strip definitely you have to you, you know the value of a dollar and how can we finish school at 11 that's a really interesting strip I never knew that you didn't tell me that before you didn't, you didn't enjoy it all grandma's recipe I still remember yes except your smile last easy when you got lemon squeeze it Constantly getting bullied and I gave up. I fell into. Oh, I'm sorry, Stu. But you're happy, young man now who's going on his first date. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so we've got our pizza bases like this. Youth depression led down the road to pastry prostitution. 
prostitution. So we're in a school. Um, what's the word? Can you... Oh, strip for donuts. Yes, yeah, I get ya. No, no, I get ya. I was like, what? Cool. All right, we're gonna go to the stove real quick. We're gonna put this guy aside. Oh, I need to make. We decided on mm, quinoa. Let's make some quinoa. Oh, I might do. I have to see what I've got in my pantry before I make a decision. Quinoa one, I have to see what I've got in my pantry. I might not actually have quinoa. Um, I don't know if you have any quinoa. So ras it is. Las materas. So now we're gonna put that like that. I'm gonna make some popcorn in here. Popcorn in here. Um, but life has moved up. I can say the date and my job. I can't do basic math or handwrite properly, but I'm happy. Strip. I think you're legendary. And you can do anything you put your mind to. Don't worry, I can't even speak properly sometimes. Have you guys seen how often that I stumble on words that's you know it was always something that I'm very hesitant and like worried about speaking but no one really seems to notice AK Star Chaser thank you for that 10 months in a row oh my gosh wow so lovely I just 10 months it's gone so fast wow how have you been, AK? What's been happening? So, for those that are new to the channel, for every two subs we receive, we eat a warhead. So something sour. It's not very good. It's not very fun. Squirrel Lee, how you doing? Um, I've gotten into singing, which I think I'm really good at. Ah, lovely. That's good. It has, oh my God. So, we're gonna go here. Whoa, wrong there. We're gonna add some Italian passata. This is a really simple pasta sauce. We're gonna add some thyme and some oregano. Oh shoot, it's not that much, but. Oregano and thyme, um, chili flakes. You want it a bit spicy. Some, let's just do some garlic powder. You could add fresh garlic, but I just want to show you something simple. It's been real Molly, thanks for all of the advice. I'm off, off to see what I can do for dinner. I, anytime, any questions you have, and I hope that I've given you some nice advice. Um, if you have anything you want to ask me, hit me up on Discord um, or Twitter or anything and I'm happy to help in any way. Um, I am definitely not good with, like I can give you ideas and um, we can do some more cost, you know, saving measures and things like that. And I'm really big into bulk, um, bulk foods for saving money. Um, I don't know how to like I can definitely look into scrimping and saving and things like that, but Yeah, any questions you want to know or even some we've got all of the recipes So for subs receive all of the recipes nearly 500 recipes and they've got some amazing um, Slow cooking recipes in there when you do get a slow cooker And if you want any advice on like brands and things like that when you get to the UK let me know. All right Then you would let this kind of cook for a few minutes until it starts to thicken a little bit, darken in colour. 
this is just blended tomatoes, rosemary, thyme, garlic, some chili. Oh, tastes so good. Definitely join our Discord and post in the food room. Yeah, thanks, Trip. I love when you guys welcome each other and well, welcome new people. So, salt and pepper. So, I have some prosciutto. By far, by far the most welcome I've felt on any stream. Keep up the good vibes. Thank you, Baltic. It's very, very kind of you. And thank you for popping in. No, oh, that makes my heart feel warm. Oh, strip. You're gonna make me cry. All right, so some prosciutto. Just while I just wipe my eyes. I'm not crying, you're crying. So. Keto pizza, everybody. Let me know what you, you guys want on your pizza. Thank you, AK. So, this is almond meal pizza, guys. So, it's got um, ground almonds, egg, mozzarella. Um, I put a little bit of cheddar in there. The recipe calls for cream cheese, but I don't have any. I thought I did. Um, some Italian seasoning mix, so I put um, oregano and thyme, and then salt and pepper. We're gonna add our pasta sauce. So, super simple. I love anchovies. I actually have anchovies, but I I don't know. I just can't eat them, like, whole. They have to be blended into a sauce. Like, the only time I've eaten that I would like to eat them is like, Caesar salad. And like, no Caesar salad is, Anchovies are a hard no. Exceed hate seafood. Um, yeah, Caesar salad is not complete without anchovies, but I don't know. Do you know when I was a kid, I used to... It came from my dad, because my dad used to do it. Eat, I used to eat tinned sardines in tomato sauce on toast. Ugh. God. And I just like, I just have, I remember doing it, but I don't know why. I just, ugh, it just grosses me out, just the thought of it. Well, I'm gonna get some uh, olives. Olives. Look at my pizza. Oh, I'm just gonna put some rice in this here. So this is the first time you'll be seeing me make rice not in my pressure cooker. I'm terrible at it. And I didn't even measure. Because YOLO swag. YOLO. Okay. Has some calamata olives. And then we'll put some rocket at the top when it comes out of the oven. I can do seafood, but I can't do clams. Do we have clams in Australia's trip? You mean like mussels? You've got to be joking. So I strain and like I get all the liquid out. There's one olive. One. One olive left in here. What the heck? What? Oh my god! How can I not even pick that up? There was one olive. 
it doesn't, it's got a pip in it too. There we go. YOLO. Um, put some cheese on there. Like that. It's gonna be El Simba. Oh, I've got the, I've got the prosciutto. El Simba Lale. Do you rip it? Just put it on like this. Olives are vile. What? They're not. They're so good. I wonder who ate them all. Exceed. No, Exceed hates. Exceed hates olives. Almost as much as he hates seafood. Uh, okay, see, so I can't do black olives. I can do like Kalamata olives. I feel like this is going to be like more decorative like that, like swirly kind of thing. Mm -mm. I feel like this pizza is just eating cheese. They're gonna go in the oven. Pepperoni is no a go, no go. You like prosciutto? All right. So bake them for about like I'm gonna say ten minutes max. So it says seven minutes. Okay, Google set timer for five minutes. Oh shoot. Oh guys, you're supposed to cook the pizza. Oh god. I'm still really new to Twitch. If you haven't checked out, you should. It's not only for gamers, my favorite cook uh, channel is a cooking show. Paige, oh my gosh. Paige, thank you for that tweet. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's so lovely. So why, uh, strip, why don't you like um, pepperoni? I could just eat prosciutto like this. Mm. So what we'll do is we'll get our rice is nearly ready. Bring over our miso chicken. Look at that. like burnt. I think the oven was like way too hot. I don't know. We're just going to scrape off some of this black bits. So you need to make sure that you stir it because the butter and the oil is going to rise to the top and the miso is going to go to the bottom. So when you're basting it, you just need to make sure you just kind of give it a swirl like that. Well, Paige, the, the pizza's looking good. I hope it tastes good as well. The taste isn't right to me. It's not palatable much. Reckon? What do you guys think of my... I'm going to screw that bit off. What do you think of my chicken? Does it look good? I love tweeting. Thank you. I need to get 
bit more into Twitter. Chicken has a nice colour. Thank you. Just not the, just not the thing bowl. Um, I feel like we should make like a little, a little. I'll dig into that. I don't even eat meat with bones. You can just pretend it doesn't have a bone in there. You would never know until you hit the bone. Looks phenomenal. Thanks, guys. I feel like we need to make like a little dessert or something. Tomorrow we're doing keto, um, so it's keto week-ish, except for Saturday, make with Molly. Um, but tomorrow we're doing brisket, beef brisket, um, like Italian style beef brisket. And we're also doing keto choc chip cookies. Prosciutto is probably number one guilty pleasure. <gasps> so, um, I, I talk about this on stream, but I haven't really explained. Every If we go out somewhere and they have like a plowman's board or a, a grazing board, that's me done. Like, I'll have that as my lunch. I could live on cured meats. Um, uh, yeah, I could live on cured meats with dips and pate like for the rest of my life that's that's what i love like breads crisp bread thing like that what is keto okay google what is keto diet okay google what is the keto diet according to wikipedia the ketogenic diet is a high fat adequate protein low carbohydrate diet that in medicine is used primarily to treat difficult to control epilepsy in children Wow. Um, so it is a high fat, medium to low protein diet and low carbohydrate diet. Um, and, oh, that's my pizza. Say my pizza's done. Um, so it's a ketogenic diet um, that is great for uh, weight loss. Uh, it tricks the body into ketogenesis, so the high um, fat tricks your body in or brings your body into ketogenesis, which is fat burning. Your body is um, burning fat rather than carbs. So it's great with weight loss. It's great with um, uh, increasing your metabolism. Um, so you guys have started keto to be more healthy. Um, we're trying it. Um, Exceed is a little bit worried about um, it. And I'm just seeing how, what it, like, if, if it's doable. Um, I, if you see me when we first started streaming, like I, I've always wanted to do as much fun food as possible, but sometimes fun food isn't healthy food. So I'm just trying to get back into like finding that balance between like delicious looking and tasting food as well as food that is good for you. So making, getting that balance with like food that I eat at work and snacks and things um, because I've moved from a very active job as a theater nurse or an operating room nurse to now in education where I um, it's kind of sometimes a desk job so I'm not as active as I used to be so that's why I was telling you like I go up the 14 flights of stairs um, all the time shakachari and um, what's the Italian word tapas antipasto yes so good Yes, I strip. Can be expensive. Prosciutto can be expensive. So there is um, one of our viewers called um, Lost Pod Files makes his own um, prosciutto. And so I've always wanted to do it. What do you do in education? I am a operating room nurse um, educator. So I facilitate um, education with the department. So organizing, um, making sure everyone's mandatory training is um, organized and up to date, um, organizing, because me the medical industry is always changing, making sure everybody knows how to use the equipment, 
um, new procedures and new um, policies, everybody's updated with them, um, new staff that come in um, straight out of uni, making sure that they um, are you know, introduced to the department um, and upskilled um, and things like that. So, I get the imagery, don't run with the scalpels. Wag fingers, matron like, no. Um, I try not to be like that, I hope I'm not like that. Sometimes I do tell people off for doing the silly things. Um, but I, 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 like I wanted to be, it is, it's a different job than I thought. It's more like politics and dealing with people. Um, but, um, you know, I never wanted to get into like being grumpy and things. Yeah, it is fun. It is very fun. But sometimes people don't do what they should be doing. You know. Follow the rules. But the medical, um, the medical industry is always changing and things, um, you know, you have to tell people like that's not the new, that's the old way of doing it. You know, you have to do it the new way. Um, and sometimes people don't like that. All right, so spring onion. Um, I'm just just a no nerdy librarian. You're not just a nerdy librarian. I hate when people say I'm just this because I used to say I'm just the cook on the stream because I used to introduce Exceed behind the scenes and I say I'm just the cook and Exceed would get frustrated at me and he said you're not just the cook and you know I, I love doing this and I love streaming and I know that I'm more than just something I think we, we always put ourselves down and I think saying just something is, you know, you have to, you have to like, put your head up straight, your chin out straight, your chest back. For girls, put your boobs out. Stand up straight and be proud of who you are and be proud of what you do. You're not just a librarian. Freaking, a librarian would be the coolest job. I feel like librarians are the most underappreciated people. You're right, I'm a kick-ass librarian. I love it. I love it, Paige. I love it. Sure looks like it. So what is this wet blog? This is pretty cool. I love blogs. I love people that t like write. And like, I feel like there's, you know, people that express themselves in words. And then I, there's a special place for people that um, can express themselves in like the written word. Like, I love, I, I love blogs and um, you know, real, raw and honest things like reading it. Brace you are, uh, who you are, be proud of who you are. Definitely! You go girl. Professional development blog. Ah! Oh, just, see, just. It is a kick ass professional development blog. Thank you. Can anyone spot a habit? <laughs> Alright, this pizza's looking dope, but it's not cooked underneath. Molly! Ah! Alright, we'll cook, cook it for a little bit longer. And then I think we're gonna strain the rice. I'm just gonna make sure all my stove is turned off. Did I tell you guys that last week that I um, we woke up in the morning and it was like black? Like, because it was, we wake up at 5 a.m. And Exceed walked into the kitchen and he's like, can you come here? And then I came in and he was looking at the stove and I was like, what do you mean? So I turned the light on. He was like, turn the light off. And then you could just see this blue glow. And yeah, I left the stove on all night. <sighs> um, I love it. Best book series I've ever read, without a doubt. The Dresden Files. Oh, he loves that book series. I've seen, where are you up to now? You haven't, you haven't had an opportunity to read. Maybe we can get books and read them in New Zealand. So, we have to think of ideas, guys, of what we can do in New Zealand. Maybe some... We, I don't have a, a laptop that I can do videos or... Like a, a, blog, a, blog, a vlog or something like that. I can only do things on my phone, so like live Instagram or something to keep you guys updated. 
and like chat to you guys while we're in New Zealand. God, I suck at grass. Doesn't anyone think that this music is like a, a game, video game, game intro? Yes, I love Jim Butcher. I don't know who that is. Um, what's my other cool plate? I have a really cool plate, but I can't find it. Kinky Tip, how you doing? We're just doing some miso chicken right now. So gonna plate this up. How you doing Tiff? Sorry about the noise everybody. I think too much rust. Pop you back in there. Same amount of rust, but whatever. Jim Butcher, oh yeah, I was guessing that. No such thing as too much rice. And then, what we're gonna do. That's my dish, silly dog. Chunks of garlic in there. And then Chester. your veg I know you need something I don't really have it's supposed to go with this keto pizza it needs like <gasps> hold on I think I have broccolini in my if it's grown I could go out there in the dark let me go on a, an a mission two seconds. I'm going to go out into my garden. I think I have some broccoli. It's just I'll be back.
Damn it. Now I've done it, she's gone to get veg. It's all good. Holy dooly, look at this pizza. I'm gonna take this out the way. So this is keto pizza, so no low carbs. and rocket in here. Nice bit of greenery. So we'll cut this one. So you want to use the same tool. So this thing here cost me, I think, a dollar. And it's all plastic, but when you, like, it actually works at, you know, it's blunt, but it's sharp at the same time. So prosciutto pizza. So my only recommendation is to cook the base first before you add the things and flip it over and like cook it like a tortilla kind of thing. So probably even my lunch tomorrow, I'm excited. But look at that. So, hold it over. Nice brown bottom. Jesse, the chicken looks good. And our pizza. All right. So prosciutto, cheese, the base is made from mozzarella, almonds, um, some cream cheese. You can put cream cheese in there. I'm not a pizza fan. I'm not a huge fan either, but I'm interested in this. Really good. It strangely tastes like bread. Oh my gosh. This is good. It's like crunchy. Mmm. Mmm, this is yummy. It's a little oily. Like. And that's what exceeds worry about, like the keto diet being oily and like a lot of fat. 
but this is tasty. I would just reduce the amount of mozzarella, maybe. Mm. I'll take him a piece. I really like the rocket on top. Mm. Today that we could have like a section where we like skip to exceed and he rate it on stream or after stream or something I think it would be best live like an exceed eats yeah definitely I like it yeah and then he rate it live on stream like we cut to him like and he sits at his desk and he does like the, the you know the rating for you guys and describes it mm. I'll admit, I will admit the eatability scale is a little bit low because it's not cooked as much under, underneath. So what I would do is put it on like a pizza stone to let it cook. Put it on, um, back in the oven in a really low temperature so it kind of dehydrates. Um, but yeah, bang on, good. But we'll wait for exceed. Would you guys like to see more of Exceed and do reviews? Do you think he would be interested in his opinion of the food every night? We can work on him. Mm. So, Strip, what's your opinion of, um, so Stardew on Friday, I'm not bothered if you want, I just need to know for work. If you'd like to play with us, I love that. Folding is one thing, but I still can't have a raw taste to it. Doughy isn't good. Right, this one isn't raw. It doesn't taste raw. It's just a little bit soft. Like it doesn't taste raw. It doesn't taste doughy. But I like, I like it a bit crunchier, like the outside. I think Exceed must like anything you cook for him. I don't think I like to see him be too critical. You work so hard. Oh, Paige, thank you. I know you're new here, but my expectations are pretty high. <laughs> yes, that like they are like they are pretty high. Like sometimes, sometimes like things come out of his mouth. He's like, mm, it's not your best work. I was like, I've just been in the, like in the kitchen for like a good four hours of cooking, and. <laughs> he'll just be like, mm, nah, or like he'll message me at work, like at work when he's eaten his lunch and he's like, nah, not a big fan. I'm like, oh, I really like, and it's funny because we have such different flavor, you know, preferences. So I'll think like the other day I did a slow cooker shoulder of pork and damn, did I nail it? Like it was delicious. And he was like, mmm, did you just lick my arm? He wants my attention. Oh no way, he messages you. <laughs> we're really close, like, we're, that's our type of, like, we're, we're honest with each other. And he did, like, he just, it's good because he tells me, like, things the way I can improve and whatever. But there's some times where I'm like, I'll, like, serve him something, like, that I think is amazing and he'd be like, can I put sriracha on it? And I'll just be like... So, but he is very good. He is very, like, constructive. And I feel like he, my cooking has got a lot better. Um, I'm very big on... The, so, we, yeah, we have this... We, we should call it the, the Exceed Eatability Scale. And I think we should have it on stream somewhere. So, it, the way he... The way he he describes food is by eatability. So it doesn't matter about taste for him. Something could be disgusting, and how, but it could be easy on the eatability. 
but you could have something that is amazing and if it's not good eatability then it's no good. So you have to be able to eat preferably with one hand, is that right Ixie? We need to like write this down and then we should like put a criteria on. I think you're doing great um, for Aussie streamers, keep it up cute dogs. What do you mean for Aussie streamers? Thank you, Kinky Tiff. I appreciate that coming. Nice. For Aussie stream. Bumblebees! How you doing? Bumblebee's getting his own movie out here. Are you gonna be in it? Eatability is the ease of which you can put it into your mouth. Yeah, definitely. That's rated higher than taste. It does. He's crazy. He's a local. Are there other streamers besides Aussie streamers? Um, so yeah, for him, Exceed, can I get confirmation? Is it, is it the higher eatability is that more easier you can do it with one hand? So, um, you know, you shouldn't have to use, like he doesn't like using knife and fork. The, the worst thing you can do is have a piece of meat with a bone in it that he has to cut around. Because damn, he just, no go, no go zone. Um, the, the bread, if you're making toast, the bread has to be like airy, it can't like, he doesn't like sourdough, he doesn't like it like a huge, you have to be able to cut through it nicely. So, you can eat it with two, but if it's messy, it loses huge points. So, it can't like, it, it can't be like sloppy if you're eating it like with one hand or two handed. It can't like drop or like dribble. You can't like, you can't run down your hands. Um, it, it's quite funny. It, it's quite funny how he rates it. So I will, I'll, I'll, it's a work in progress. We'll get it written down. We'll, we'll find this criteria that it meets. And we can give him to like, get it a pop up I reckon on stream. Just like we do this. We'll have an eatability scale and then he can rate it on stream. That would be cool. I'm not a fan of messy food. Um, I think you're a lot like me in that respect. Get a feeding bag, like for horses, no hands, extreme eatability. Ah, oh, that's so good. Just like that. It's just like this. Except have you seen a feeding bag? It's literally like this. And the horse's mouth just goes in it. So they trot along like this. They trot along and then they just put their head into the bowl. And then they can just walk along while they eat. And then they also have a, like a, a poo bag as well. It's exactly the same. They've got one at one end. One at each end. Messy as in juice and saucy. Too messy would be stuff falling out and off your food. Yeah. So he needs like one hand tacos. But not just... But not too saucy. That's it. So you eat taco one over a taco shell, and yeah, that's what he's been doing. Deceptive smile. So you get like a tortilla, and then you you make a burrito, or you eat like a um, he he's been eating hard shell tort um, tacos. Oh, sorry, that's sorry. You can't have, in his opinion, the, the man of mystery. He thinks that if it's a it's a, it's a soft shell taco then it's not a taco, it's it's a wrap. Only tacos are hard shell, in his opinion. Because he is the, the Mexican extraordinaire enthusiast. So, always put a soft shell tortilla over a crunchy. Really? So you just wrap it like a double wrap? I'm heading off great and fun stream as always. Thank you very much, Neff. I'll give you a little curtsy. Lovely as always. Um, are you going to say goodbye to your favourite... Um, German exceed. What did you call him the other day? Um, what country? What country did he call you? Uh, the, what is German's other name? Um, what is that that word? Neff, our favourite, the Dutch. <laughs> what did you call him? Let me. Dutchland. Deutschland. Yes. He thinks. Exceed thought. Deutschland, Deutsch, Deutschland, Deutschland was Dutch, the Netherlands, but Deutschland is Germany. Uh, I couldn't believe I had blonde hair. Oh really, Jesse couldn't believe you had blonde hair. What color hair did you think he had? He is, he's quite blonde. I think I got kicked from a Discord. Were you stripping donuts? When are you going back to, to potatoes? I'm confused. Are you ever going back to potatoes or are you going to stay for donuts? 
Don't have dark hair like me. I, just, I want to dye my hair. I just don't know what color. It looks really dark, like right now. He stripped for spuds, he did. He used to strip for potatoes. I thought he was dark haired too. Hmm. Wow. It, do you think that's because I have dark hair or like why? It's so interesting. When I get affiliated, I'll ask Twitch for my old name back. Okay. For now, it's a waiting game. Okay. I think you should go red, like bright red. I think I would. <sighs> Finn is half Dutch. Hey, Mike is Dutch. Finn is half Dutch. Only seen the black and white Discord photo. Oh yeah, that's true. As in gingery red, not orange red, but darker. Oh yeah. So I think what I'll do is I'll go to a hairdresser and ask how much it will cost to Olaplex. Olaplex? Is anyone? I think it's Olaplex. Where you, they like it's it's like this bleaching but not bleach that lightens your hair but doesn't damage it. Something like that. So that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Okay. So let's go through this. So first things first. This is our miso chicken. So it is a chicken thighs that have been um, with the skin on. Make sure you got the skin on because it goes better, tastes better, um, and looks better mainly. Um, we've served it with some plain basmati rice, but it is um, cooked or massaged with uh, ginger, uh, whole garlic cloves, miso. So we use red miso. You can use white miso, whatever you like. Salt and pepper, some um, rice vinegar, honey. Um, salt and pepper, and that's it. Uh, and then we've just cooked it in the oven until it's um, been cooked through. And then we've added some spring onions and then also some sesame seeds. And then that's what it looks like in the dish. So very, very delicious. And then this is our keto pizza, everyone. So we did almond meal um, base. So it's just ground almonds. Um, a whole egg, um, mozzarella cheese, uh, salt and pepper, some um, oregano and thyme, and then we've rolled it out, put on um, some tomato um, pizza sauce. So then, <clears throat> Perix and Jess, thank you for that host. If you guys haven't seen Perix and Jess, they are an amazing IRL couple. Um, and they are great streamers. It's a lot of fun. They're a little bit crude at times, but they're a lot of fun. Okay, and then um, the pizza sauce is just um, tomato passata or blended tomatoes, garlic, um, chili flakes, oregano, thyme, um, salt and pepper. And then we've just cooked that and spread it over top. Some olives, some prosciutto, and rocket here as well. And then some um, mozzarella or whatever cheese you like. And then the rocket's really lovely. It's like a lot of freshness. So I might put some more on there actually. Bit of lovely freshness. There we go. So yes, that is us for tonight. Two hours to make two ingredients, uh, two recipes. A um, lot of fun. So tomorrow we are making, so same time Thursday. Gosh, this week's gone so fast. Um, we'll be live in 21 hours and 39 minutes. We're making keto chop chip cookies and we're also making brisket. Um, and it is going to be amazing. And then we've got evenings with Exceed and Jazzy. So we're going to be doing um, Unraveled 2. Hopefully we can, might be able to finish it. And then we're also going to do Stardew Valley. Saturday is Make with Molly. So we're going to be cooking. For those that don't know what Make with Molly are, so you guys can uh, download the recipes for free um, and cook along with myself, uh, a special guest. Um, and we're gonna be making pork goyoza, gnocchi or churros. You can sign up on our Discord. You can sign up to one, two or three, all three recipes um, and cook along with me and then post the photos um, and we'll put them on stream. Uh, it's gonna be such a fun day. And then we've also, We've got Sunday was going to be a lovely stream as well. 
it's gonna be a lot of big weekend big big weekend thank you everybody if you like the channel and you haven't followed hit that follow button uh, and join our socials we're gonna jump over and we are going to host um, Jurassic World Evolution so there's a girl called tequila time playing it and I want to check it out so thank you everybody for being here I'd love if you could jump over and um, check out the game and also um, the new streamer um, and yeah, thank you everybody for being able to see you tomorrow.